Hey guys, it's Friday. I'm Nadia. Merry Christmas Eve. Glad to be here with you. Warms my heart. So, it's been good. Things have been good. Good Christmas Eve so far, even though it's only 8.40 in the morning. It's pretty early. Oh, oh. So, I told you guys I was working on a Gryffindor scarf, because I am in Gryffindor, and I finally finished the first section, which means I started on the gold part, which means I'm going to bust it out for you right now. Ready? Ready? Bam! Ah! Look how cool that is! I can't wait until I'm done. This is going to be beautiful. Even though my knitting is very less than beautiful. So yeah. So today, I'm going to read a description about my favorite character because he's my favorite character. When he first comes into the series in Harry's first season for the first time. You'll probably know who I'm talking about before the end of the paragraph. A small paragraph. Anyways. <laughs> a mass of filthy matted hair hung to his elbows. If eyes hadn't been shining out of a deep dark socket, he might have been a corpse. The waxy skin was stretched so tightly over the bones of his face and looked like a skull. His yellow teeth were bared in a grin. It was Sirius Black. Obviously. It was Sirius Black. And what kind of just kills me inside is that he's my favorite character. I just... I don't know, Gary Oldman must have totally painted it because every time I imagine Sirius Black now, he has Gary Oldman's face and he looks smoking hot. <laughs> but yeah, I just can't imagine him looking that gross. Like, even in Prisoner of Azkaban, the movie, I thought Gary Oldman was still pretty hot. <laughs> No lie. So, I can't I just, I can't imagine it. You know, I can't see it. It's just, no. So, he does look better in the fifth one, of course. The fifth one is an absolute horror to me and my imagination. I cried for a few weeks on that. Sadness. But, yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, I have a question. This might seem pretty stupid, but I just, I've been thinking about it for a while now. So if anyone could answer this, that would be, like, greatly appreciated. Question is, there is a wall around Hogwarts. Like, straight up, there's a wall. But the Forbidden Forest, it's so just huge and out. Does the wall extend around the forest? Like, I seriously want to know. Like, in the movie, it's like there's suddenly no wall, like, around the lake or anywhere, except when they first, like, arrive or something. So, if anyone can answer that for me, I would be greatly appreciated. I just want to know if there's, if the Hogwarts wall goes around the Forbidden Forest. I've been thinking about that for, like, a couple years now, I think. So, yeah, look at my hair, it's all curly. Anyways, so, Merry Christmas Eve, and I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Hope it's fantastic, and I will see you guys next Friday.